and they did it again. Out of nowhere, Soft2 dropped another bomb. And this one is pretty special. I know you're gonna love it. World premiere of Mixbus TV, Soft2 Atlantis Dual Chambers. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. I hope you guys are having a great day. As usual, before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, link to the new SoftTube Atlantis Dual Chamber. And if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixpress TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish. Mastering courses on so many different genres, special videos and a lot more. And please consider grabbing some merch. We have cool t-shirts, hoodies, pillow, mugs. Take a look at Mixbest TV merchandise below every video and you will also support the channel. Let's get to the video. Very exciting what we have here. Softube model, two of the most iconic and best sounding echo chambers in the world. The chambers of the legendary Atlantis Studios in Stockholm. If you're not familiar with the history of the studio, I will put a link to a great article in the info box down below. But ABBA, for example, recorded there, Dancing Queen, Mamma Mia, and all the Swedish pop acts in the golden era. More recently, Roxette and Cardigans recorded there. And they still have and use these two legendary echo chambers, which Softube modeled with this plugin. And I had this plugin for a while and unique is an understatement. It's so fun to use and it sounds great but you will be the judge at the end of the video let's take a look at the interface and the controls first of all we have the two chambers we have two pictures here this is chamber a and this is chamber b for each chamber you have four microphone choices you have a small condenser cardioid you have a figure eight ribbon mic you have a large condenser tube mic and then you have a vintage omni microphone the first very cool thing is yes you can unlink the channel and pick whatever mic on the left and whatever mic on the right but also one chamber on one side and a different chamber on the other side so the combination with these controls alone are already many but there's a lot more in this plugin and i have to say soft tube as usual designed and added many useful features that are easy to access for example we have the amp drive so the color of what is gonna be your reverb. You can run a clean original settings as they are in the studio, or you can push the saturation. Big red knob for the decay. Original is all the way clockwise and you can shorten it by turning it counterclockwise. They model the mechanical damping, undamped, half damped and full damp. You have a fully variable pre-delay that you can also sync to the DAW tempo and you can set how close you want the mic to the speaker in the room, far to near. We also have a resonance control knob to clean up the return of the reverb. And then we have a full EQ dynamic section by clicking here, you can see you have a full blown parametric EQ, three bands plus filters. Then you can engage or disengage. You have a simple but very effective dynamic module and you can pick compression, ducking and gating and you will hear how useful this is as well. Lastly, a really cool stereo field module, mono input to stereo input and the output width that goes from mono stereo to wide out of the speakers. Left and right swap and also a left and right balance. You will hear between the uh, stereo with manipulator section and the, the possibility of having two different mics and two different chambers left and right. You can create really cool ambience and soundscape and also add depth to any track in your mix. Without further ado, let's hear how it sounds and we'll start with drums. So you can really hear the differences between the different microphones first.
all right first of all hats off to soft because this thing sounds incredible already and you can hear the different settings uh, you have brighter microphone more focused microphone you have the two different chambers one is a bit warmer so to speak the other one is a little more open and tight it's it's really fun to use because none of them really sound bad it's just a matter of picking the one that is best for a given day now listen how much difference makes the mic distance knob This is pretty cool. You hear, especially with this chamber, I think, listen to how everything changes when I move the mic distance and how we have different decays depending on where I place the microphone for each individual frequency range. Let's unlink left and right, and I'm gonna switch microphones. You hear just by changing the mic distance left and right, you can move the stereo image and the stereo field of this reverb chamber any way you want. That is very, very cool, especially when you try to position elements in your mix. Think of uh, background vocals and you start putting two, three instances of this and just moving the stereo field and modifying the stereo field, how much more depth you can create. Resonant control. You hear how much it cleans up the reverb. And if that wasn't enough, we have a full parametric EQ here. And again, the dynamic section, uh, you can create any kind of effects, the gated reverb, you can duck it, you can compress it. I want you guys to hear it on bass because the amp drive, it's very obvious in that and it sounds really cool. This legit sound like an amp in a room, that says a lot. But I'm gonna switch to all the way wet and I'm gonna drive the preamp so you can hear the kind of saturation it has. That is pretty cool. Let's mix it in. Let's do acoustic guitar.
Check this out now with the stereo width. And it's so much fun with the different types of microphones. Let's, let's unlink again and change microphones and maybe chamber too. It's pretty crazy the amount of different uh, realistic, actually, ambient you can create with this. Let's try it really quick on vocals. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? I know the season's ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down Where is the peacefulness of mine? You can see in this case I'm using the compression on the dynamic session to compress the reverb and I did a little bit of EQ, I removed the low end I added a little bit of top end and this resonance control, man, it's something special and of course, with vocals, the mic distance becomes, again, very important. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. The tearing... You hear, if I go too far, it, it kind of becomes detached from the vocals. If I go too close, it kind of sounds like a bathroom. We don't want this. But there's that sweet spot around 1 and 2 o'clock that just gels with the vocals so well. Let's hear it in a mix with and without. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? I'm alright As I pick up the pieces that I've left in me I'm alright You can hear how instrumental this one effect alone is to make this vocal fit in the mix, which is not a mix, it's just raw tracks uh, put there just for the demo. But let me try to add these effects on other things, for example, snare. All right, let's say I like this one. Let's try to use the gate instead. So it opens up only when the snare hits and it doesn't pick up all the Hi hats bleed. That's pretty cool. Let's hear it in the mix with and without. I know the seasons about to change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. The tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Man, that sounds really cool and it's like so legit. Uh, let me try to add something else. For example, there's a, an electric guitar here. I like chamber eight with a modern cardioid. The modern cardioid is the brighter one, if you notice, 
Uh, the figure eight is definitely the more bottom heavy and warm. The tube is super rich and kind of a combination of the first and the second. It's got the top end, it's got the low end, and it's got a very rich mid range. And this one is the more open. I noticed this one is my favorite if I want to go really wide here with uh, with control. But I'm going to stick with the uh, modern cardioid for this. Let's hear it in the mix with and without. Help me, I think I am falling. Does anybody hear me calling? Help me dry on my tears and help me I lay on my fears and help me, I think I am falling. Does anybody hear me calling? Right. Really, really cool, especially the first pass here. Help me, I think I am falling. With? Help me, I think I am falling. And it sounds really good. <laughs> Help me, I think I am falling. Does anybody hear me calling? Help me drag on my tears in. Help me a leg on my fears in. Help me, I think I am falling. Does anybody hear me calling? I'm alright. As I pick up the pieces that I left for you. I'm alright. Be away from you. And I'll be fine. And of course, like all the software plugins, we have an input control here on the panel, an output control there on the right. And of course, at the bottom, the headroom and high pass and phase rotation as added features. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. See, it did it to me again. I click bypass and it didn't sound right anymore. I really like how it gels with the source. I'm not familiar directly with the Atlantis chambers, but I also don't care because this thing sounds awesome. And as usual, I think they added all and only the usable feature in this. So you kind of have a degree of tweakability, but not too much that you mess around all day. Uh, thumbs up for me, soft tube Atlantis dual chamber. I hope this video was useful, guy. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Let me know if you have questions and I'll try to respond as many as I can. Before you go, don't forget to check the info box down below for all the links, including the one to this plugin. Click the join button, become a Mixpress TV member to access all the exclusive content. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Get my throat, throat Lift me up, up, man Take control, oh.